mine used to go to the school for the deaf in the, our hometown. While she was enrolled in the school, her mom worked there as a tutor. Neither Julie nor her mom liked one of the, parent, one of the house parents. As you probably guessed, the house parent's name was Barbara. So when Julie and her mom decided to buy a pot-bellied pig, they decided to name her after Barbara. Barbara even had a sign name. It was a bee close to the shoulder. Well, let me tell you about Barbara. She got into more stuff than a two-year-old child. One day when Julie and her mom were out shopping, they had left Barbara in the backyard. Somehow the pig managed to get the back door opened and got into the kitchen. She succeeded in opening all of the cupboard doors where the food was kept. Well, Barbara had a feast. She ate everything she could that she could get her snout on. Can you imagine the mess that she made? Anyway, after she was very, very full, she waddled into the bedroom, somehow leaned against the door, and fell asleep. When Julie and her mom got home, they found the mess. Yikes. Then they went looking for Barbara. When they tried to open the bedroom door, it wouldn't budge. She just weighed too much, and she refused to move. They tried and tried to encourage her to get up by calling her name and talking to her. But it was to no avail. Finally, Julie had to crawl in through the bedroom window, wait until Barbara was hungry again, and then she could get up and get her out of the room. Wow, what a mess they had to clean up. Another time they left her in the yard, and the UPS brought Julie's mom a new comforter. He saw the pig, but thought if he put it on the top of the clothesline, it would be fine. So he balanced the package between the lines and left. Barbara was just too curious for her own good. She nudged the pole until, finally, it made the package drop. Then she tore it open and proceeded to chew holes in the new bedspread. When Julie's mom arrived home, she found a bedspread, a bedspread covered with holes about the size of apricots. Needless to say, she wasn't a very happy camper. She called UPS, bawled them out, and asked them what were they thinking. Through the years, Julie has told me many stories about Barbara, the pot-bellied pig. I just love to listen to her talk about them. She was such a beautiful ASL. She has such a beautiful ASL. And when she starts one of her stories, I always know it'll be entertaining. I've never had, to des had a desire to have a pet pig, and listening to her convinces me that I'll never want one. But it sure is fun to hear her talk about the adventures she's had while owning a pig.